Recording. I'll just repeat what I said. Why hello there, people of the internet. And, and, um, OMG, this is too hard. Hi, you web users. Today, we're gonna talk about Homestuck. Oh, uh, sh. What's happening? Uh, I think I'm out of batteries. Wait, what? How's that even possible? I thought your phone had unlimited battery. It's not like we could go IRL to get a charge. Shut up, let me read. Hmm. We need to charge it with like slime in a place called. New Los Angeles City, aka Neo Milwaukee. Apparently, this city has a f ton of slime and is located on Discord. It's like a text MMO or something. Ah, uh, but I really wanted to talk about Homeless. Wait! Discord MMO, you said? Mm hmm. Yes. And. Oh. Uh, oh, um, uh, it just so happens that this game is also inspired by Homestuck. WTF? Is that even possible? And then along Discord inspired by Homestuck. Oh boy, oh boy, it's such excitement! I can even make an episode out of it! It's gonna be epic! Well, there you go. I get my phone charged and you do your love of episode researches on that. Hmm, am I gonna get to hop on your back? No, never. Hey, Manon from the future here to give you more info on the game we're going to play. It's called Endless War! It's a text-based MMORPG playable on Discord, and it uses bot commands to work! It all started with a video game podcast called Rowdy Fun. <laughs> Rowdy Frickers, Cup Killers. And it was created by Bensane and Munchie. This podcast then had its own Discord server called the RMCK Juvenile Detention Center. And then Crack created the bot that would start off the game. And from now on, many devs would work more and more on the game until it became the word complex universe that it is today! Let's check it out! <laughs> You gross! Cybermare! This place doesn't look very safe! Well, that's a nice head start. You stop, please! What? Apparently you use your body to store the slime. Hey, Juvies! What are two young juveniles doing in the f***ing trash- Alright, we should be safe in the shit hole. Cybermare, there's a lot of peeps here. What if they try to kill us like that other guy? Don't be stupid, we're far too slimeless for them. We're just passing through to the mines. Don't we have enough slime in our bodies to charge your phone? Oh no no no, we're gonna need so much more, like a few millions. What? Why so much? How do you think the battery lasted this long for it to run out just today? Ah, uh, this is gonna take forever. How do you even calculate that? You don't quantify liquids like this! Uh, I think you do something like, slime. You currently have 56,681 slime. Ooh! Look at this cute little triangle guy! I- my turn! Slime! You currently have 9,130 slime. Eek! Fail! Enough f***ing around, let's get going. We should... We should get some grub going. Huh? I saw a 7-Eleven earlier around town. There's gotta be energy drinks in there. Hey! I... Lol, those names sure are strange. Dibs on that sweet cider. Slime! You currently 
have 395,433 slime. Good boy! We gotta have enough slime with yours and mine combined, right? Slime. You currently have 852,445 slime. Yeah, we're gonna need a few millions more. Oh, isn't that enough for like, a few years already? Hey, this f***ing insane soda trip gave me a better idea. We should actually gain a gang's trust to get help from them. What if we do that? We're gonna get out by the other gang! What about we join both gang and form some sort of alliance? Hmm, hey, that might be a good idea. The two notorious gangs are the Pink Rowdies and the Purple Killers. I'll go killer and you'll go rowdy. Hey, but I don't know what a rowdy is. Just use that Illuminati thing, I'm sure you'll find your way. Oh, that's right! Thanks, Cybermare! You're happy! Good luck with Tate Purples! Heh <laughs> heh, yeah. Yeah. Alright. Future Mud on back for more info! The gameplay of the game has evolved quite a bit over time, but the core is still here. You can move through districts with Go2, check your slime with Slime, and participate in one of the many ways to gain slime. In this case, mining. But all the texts and locations might be overwhelming to newcomers. But don't worry, you have a very fancy map you can bring up anytime by doing map. And a lot of the locations and elements have been illustrated by the community, amongst many, many things. You can also always ask a player for any help, but let's get back to the show for now. Come on, come on. They've gotta be somewhere. Uh, that's so fucking swag. Rathaus! Rathaus! Oh, there it is! Much loud, very pink. Hey, that's where I enlist in your game, alright? <laughs> Are you afraid, juvenile? Good. Good. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to gang violence. We killers love instilling fear, not like those rowdies. They're too busy partying all the time to be scary. <clears throat> they don't give a fuck. No sense of decorum. Absolutely despicable. A good rowdy is a dead rowdy, I say. Yes, a loud and rambunctious rowdy, finally made silent. Silent as the grave! <laughs> oh, what's a little pipsqueak like you on? Hello, this is the rowdy place, right? To become a rowdy thing? <laughs> you? Dude, do you have any idea what it takes to be a rowdy? Your heart's gotta pump out nothing but the reddest, hottest blood it can. Your lungs have gotta be powerful enough to shred your throat after screaming for hours on end. Your skull's gotta be thick enough to protect whatever handful of brain cells you've got left from a point-blank shotgun blast in the f***ing face! Unlike all of those pretentious killers who spend all their days boarded up in their rooms, cutting themselves on their own edge when they aren't masturbating to shitty anime and emo chicks. So, any method you have to collect slime fast? Hmm. <clears throat> Why don't you bring me a dead cop, just to prove you're worth a damn? And then, uh, oh, I don't know, just go kill people in the streets. Or kill slime monsters in the outskirts. And one more thing, get a better outfit. Something that says, Molgoth. So, what's you guys' best way of getting huge slime in town? Well, normally we like making our slime doing fun and dangerous stuff, but since you don't exactly strike me as someone with a fighting spirit just yet, maybe you could try some adult baby diaper lover bullshit like... Yeah, fishing. Just head over to one of the piers and start reeling in some fish and wringing out their slime. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, dude. If you want to be in our gang, you can't go around looking like you're going to start begging strangers to accept your lunch money in exchange for them fucking your wife. Hey, you. Get this poor bastard something suitably rowdy to rock. And so the two young gangsters set out on their quest for slime. The cat one fishes. The horse one kills people. Yet in this crime riddled town. Slowly they find out that what it's all about is caring and sharing. <laughs> Thanks. 
got all the slime. You know it, tons of it. I. How do we share it now? Give slime. Share slime. Donate slime. Maybe try throw slime. Hand over slime. Blitz slime. Hey, you know you can't give slime. Oh, gee, where'd it all come from? They're probably here thinking we're gonna kill each other. Get on with it. I wanna see some slime splattering action. Uh, we just wanna share our slime. Shush, we're both gonna get fucked if we tell about our alliance. So, any of you guys know how we can battle our slime or something? Nope. You could either go with Russian roulette or gang violence. Ah! But, but that's not fair. I have no weapon. Well then, Russian roulette it is. I'm not dead. Well, yeah, I am. But I can come back anytime. I hope you still have all the slime with you. Try not to die on the way home, too. I'll find a way to pump that shit out of your buddy for my phone. Being a stay dead is pretty chill, so I'll stay down there in the sewers. This game sucks anyway. Ew! I guess this game's cool if death isn't permanent. Getting killed is fine as long as you don't die from it. Hey, let's go back to fishing. That was fun. And that's it. Endless War really is a unique phenomenon out there on the internet. The game is littered with so much content, and the community around it is wonderful! The community really affected the game with some players being so epic, they became legends amongst other players! And these were marked forever by the Kinkins by making them official concerts or top killers! There's so many events and players that it'll be better for you to find out yourself! There's a wiki filled with that kind of information! The game is not really the point of the server, because it's still a server for people to discuss in! But Endless were managed to gather a fan base that inspired the creation of thousands of fan arts, with fan songs and fan this experience has been a real journey, and an adventure to remember for- Shut up, I'm trying to sleep.